Today I feel disabled. Today I feel uh, a migrant worker. I'm European. Actually, I am European. Not just I feel European. I think for what we Europeans have been doing in the last 3,000 years around the world, we should be apologizing for the next 3,000 years before starting to give moral lessons. Well, guys, the World Cup needs to be talked about again, or should I say this worthless tosspot in charge of FIFA. I think his name's Gianni Infantino or something like that. This today is because he not only tells Europe to apologise for colonialism, but also treatment of migrants, and even says he knows what it's like to be gay, African and disabled. <laughs> Yeah, it's the most bizarre brain fart in rant seen from anyone except Joe Biden, so let's go over it and shit on what he has to say. Today, I have uh, very strong feelings. I can tell you that. Today, I feel uh, Qatari. Today, I feel Arab. Today I feel African. Today I feel uh, gay. Your stupidity might be your one saving grace. Huh? Today I feel disabled. Today I feel uh, a migrant worker. You trying to mug me off? Yes, this utter clown there actually came out with that tribe during a press conference before the start of the World Cup yesterday. How he thought it was a good idea is actually beyond me because I would bet anyone who sees it will just cringe and vomit. I know that's what I felt like doing. Though it should be said, him feeling like a migrant worker is actually true since that's what he is. This tit is European and currently working in Qatar, which by definition makes him a migrant worker. This is a big difference to what he starts bitching about soon, so let's move on. I'm European. Actually, I am European. Not just I feel European. Just, what do you want, a fucking medal? I think for what we Europeans have been doing in the last 3,000 years around the world, we should be apologizing for the next 3,000 years before starting to give moral lessons. Well, fuck pig, I can tell you now, I won't be apologizing for jack shit. I never once owned a slave or invaded a country, so why should I say sorry for anything? If you want to take it up with the politicians who sanction that crap you're moaning about, then go dig them up for all the good it will do, as they've been dead for bloody years. And even war started now, these are not done by the general public, they're done by politicians. So not a single European general public member needs to say sorry for anything, and they literally never will. Anyway though, let's move on, because this tier ain't finished yet, and it just keeps getting worse. So if Europe, if Europe would really care about the destiny of these people, of these young people, well, then Europe could also do as Qatar did, create some channels, legal channels, where at least a number, a percentage of these workers could come to Europe, low revenues, but give them some work, give them some future, give them some hope. Well, the fact he assumes that the people of Europe care about migrants is wrong from the start, because I bet well over 90% of Europe couldn't give a toss about immigrants no matter where they bloody come from. Politicians might, but the general public who watches football really couldn't give a shit. They just don't want them dumped in their communities by the scumbag politicians. Oh, and after that, he talks about setting up legal channels for migrants, which I've got to say makes me laugh. Especially when you consider the fact the government lets illegals in as quick as they do the legal ones. You all know the government rolls out the red carpet whether they're illegal or not, and I'm sure he bloody does. Now, also, at the end of that clip, I'm sure he essentially calls for low-paid slave labour to be allowed in Europe again. Where at least a number, a percentage 
of these workers could come to Europe, low revenues, but give them some work. Yeah, sounds like below minimum wage, slave labour to me, but you know what, let's move on. If that's what he wants, I really couldn't care. This moral lesson giving, one-sided, it's just hypocrisy. Now, this little clip here I actually agree with. There he talks about moral lessons given by the sanctimonious virtue signal in Tospots out there trying to push their lunacy on other countries. This, as I've said before, is none of our business, and let's be real, the mainstream media here are as scummy as this Infantino Tospot. Both are low-life hypocrites at the very least. Qatar has made progress as well. I will come back to that. Because I feel many other things as well. Of course, I'm not uh, Qatari, I'm not Arab, I'm not African, I'm not gay, I'm not disabled, I'm not really a migrant worker. No, mate, actually, you are a migrant worker and a virtue signal in Tosspot one at that. But I feel like them, because I know what it means to be discriminated, to be bullied. I think I would have been bullied at school. I was, they were kind of marginally that way anyway, because I was like, you know, this tiny geeky kid with like, you know, darkish skin and I, you know, and it was pretty much racist abuse, although I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm as English as they come. Yeah, you know, yeah, all the time, all the time. Yeah, you know, yeah, all the time, all the time. Yeah, this tit just started going full Gary Lineker on us there and was only a few steps away from matching him, but my God, was that one of the cringiest bullshit rants I've ever seen in my bloody life. Essentially, this tit thinks that we should take yet more immigrants while also saying we treat them like shit and ignoring the fact we roll out the red carpet for them. He is also running damage control for Qatar, but I don't care about that because I don't bloody live there, so why in the end would I? Him saying we should be sorry for our past stinks of some serious lefty bollocks though, and shows why politics is constantly mixed up in football nowadays. No wonder it's such a bloody shit show. Where?